so sweet. We have to we have to enjoy the sweetness as it as it lasting. It's going to last long in these games. Perfect. I'm Sissy Hu, and welcome back to our Let's Play of the Rusty Lake franchise. Today we are going to play uh, Rusty Lake Roots, uh, because it's the next game in the order that they've recommended. Uh, we've already gone through a lot of games uh, of this franchise, and uh, that one I was warned, in a sense, uh, to prepare a lot of time to go through it. So it already looks quite different, and the I, I love about this game is like, Every single one of them is slightly different than the previous one, but we found some similarities. I already see a lot of things that interest me on the screen, uh, because it's, I think it's the first time we are actually seeing the lake, and we can see the chapel and the bridge, and we don't see the mill, and woof, I'm, already, I'm already getting ahead of myself, because first we have to review what we have seen so far. So. I propose to you to review uh, the board, <laughs> the conspiracy board I've made, and the timeline and all of the information we've gathered. So here we are. So last time uh, we played Rusty Lake um, Cube Escape Theater, and that was a lot. Uh, that was a lot of information. I've added a lot to this <laughs> board here. Uh, I've also added, before getting into uh, Rusty Lake Theatre, I've added when we were actually visiting memories and where we were supposed to be leaving um, what's happening because what I'm seeing in the last few games we played is that basically Dale entered um, a lift in the chapel. Uh, no, it was in the cabin. He basically went into a lift to escape a uh, decapitated deer, an entity, let's say. And then basically what's happening is that he's going down that lift or up into the lake to the, the hotel. But what's happening is that every time he stops at a different floor, let's say, uh, he is reliving a memory. And this memory changes. And this is where we do not know if it is really the reality that changes or just Mr. Al changing the memories of Dale, because basically he told him you have to deal with your past, only then you can become who you are meant to be. So I've indicated which are clearly memories. So if we need it, we can go back and say, okay, did we change those memories specifically? Are those now real in present time? And we can try to make sense of this. So um, Rusty Lake Theatre, as I said, basically started in 1972 and Dale says, uh, the lake is changing my memories. My past is not what it seems to be. I will let the cubes guide me. So really clearly, the lake is changing memories. Does it change the present time or not? We do not know, but he realizes that something is changing in him. And um, so let me zoom a little bit on what I took here as notes. One thing I wanted to do straight away was show you when uh, I missed that during the the playthrough, but I noticed it during the editing. Uh, at some point in theater, we encounter that man. So we will see. This is the boyfriend of the brown lady, um, who I'm pretty sure killed her. But <laughs> I realized that after when editing, and that code appeared in the mirror but at the time i was too focused on him so i indicated here so we have an a1 b7 c1 uh, which we have to pay attention to because it's probably going to be relevant in this playthrough in this game sorry uh, what i also did was take a note of the program because i'm pretty sure the order of the 
plays that we saw in Rusty Lake Theater are not random. And what I also did is I went through the different uh, videos and I took some screenshot of some of your comments, guys, uh, to add to, um, to this board because some of your points were really actually making a lot of sense to me. There was that comment from Jay-Z um, who said that they also, also think that uh, the characters on screen in this game, so that was theater, probably aren't random. Which is what I think as well. Um, so the order we saw here is we saw Mr. Hal, not really Mr. Hal, we saw a depiction of Mr. Hal. Then we saw the Lady of the Lake, I have a lot a lot to say on them afterwards. We'll go through the event and then the characters. Then we saw the signs, the fish and the parrot, uh, intermezzo by Mr. Crow, remember the seasons and then the meal. I also have so much to say about the meal. Uh, so let's try to remember this. And then we have what happened in, in the lake, in theater. So our narrator is still Dale. Um, Dale, when he looks in the mirror, sees a black entity in the mirror. And this happens several times. I am wondering, and this is a new theory. Uh, is changing Dale's memory bring him closer to corruption? And I have also now a section for the corruption because I think it's important. One of my other theories what Dale was, well, at least the white rabbit that killed Dale's parents in birthday is actually Dale or a version of Dale. Uh, and I'm wondering if changing his memory brings him closer to being that white rabbit. Um, in that case, it's strange that Mr. Al makes him go through it. But then, you know, Mr. Al say you have only then you can become who you are meant to be. Maybe he's meant to be the white right rabbit. I don't know. I don't know. This is weird because then grandfather killed the white rabbit to change Dale's memory. So I'm, that one doesn't click. It's not making much sense, but I'm, I'm wondering why every time Dale looks at the mirror, we see that entity. Is it him or is it actually that entity chasing him? We do not know. Um, so Harvey is there in parrot form. Harvey is, I think, I would have to check, but he's in most of these games in a form or in another. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's there every time. Uh, and then we have an actor, and that actor has two masks. So he has the Mr. Hal masks, and he has the um, Mr. No, Mr. Hal and Dale's mask. Mr. Crow is another another guy, and he's a bald man. And but he has Mr. Hal voice. And I think I say Mr. Crow at the end of the last episode. So I'm wondering if this is the real Mr. Hal or the human version of Mr. Hal, because you will see I have a theory that everybody has different forms, like an animal form, a human form, a semi-animal form. So I'm wondering if that guy is just an actor or if he's the actual Mr. Hal. And he said, word for word, welcome to the theater of your mind. So maybe Rusty Lake Theater is not even a theater. It's all in Dale's mind. Your mind is reaching a higher state of consciousness. You are learning about your past and your future, what you may become, continue your journey. So he's basically telling to Dale, you are changing, you are evolving, and you are becoming who you are meant to be. But there is a bit of manipulation there. It's basically you are becoming what you need to become that suits me, right? So Mr. Owl is basically modifying Dale's mind so he can serve a purpose that suits him. And this is disturbing. I don't know what, uh, why Mr. Hal is doing that. So we'll see. Uh, then we have the lady who said, balance the substance of my past life. And this was super interesting because 
the substance of the past life was different items. I have more to say below. We have a parrot and a fish, uh, <laughs> which I did not understand. <laughs> because usually we free Harvey. Usually it's Harvey who is captured and we free him. But this time we free the fish. I don't know who the fish is supposed to be. And Harvey stays, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, then we go into Bob's memory. So Bob is the um, boyfriend, or was the boyfriend of the blonde lady. And he has three white memory and one black memory. They're all about her. And he keeps saying, I don't remember what happened. I think he actually killed uh, the blonde lady. Because the black memory is the one that is locked behind the door, which we have to open. And it is actually a scream, and it's exactly, and it's her looking at him, right at him, and uh, and being killed. And that scream, I said, "Ooh, that was the same scream as Harvey. Harvey is a parrot, so I'm pretty sure Harvey mimicked the scream that lady did when she was killed. And I'm pretty sure he killed her. What I wasn't sure about is that." What did all of this do for Dale? What was changed in that memory? Bob was corrupted. He was left behind. So in a sense, was he captured? Or was it all of this just to make Dale reach a higher level of consciousness, as Mr. Hal said, and to make him learn basically on what he was able to do? Because what Dale did specifically in that episode is that he took some memories away and made Bob a corrupted. So was all of this just to make Dale realize he has this power of just taking memories away and making corrupted? Which would mean... Uh, no, I'm stretching, yeah. No, which would mean he would be able to do it without the machine. Because if you remember, in the meal, there is a, match, a machine that extracts memories, but they need the thunder and they need the um, all this contraption to make it work. Well, actually, Dale could just do it by just going into people's psyches and just take them away. This is where I'm not too sure of myself. So now, if I go down to the people. Uh, so, I was told that the blonde lady name is Laura. Uh, that was told to me by uh, Annika. Uh, which says the name is not in the earlier episode, uh, but it's not really a spoiler because basically it's, it's just a name. So I'm fine. I I'm taking this. <laughs> not, not spoilery territory to me. Um... And then what we learned is that she obviously stay at Rusty Lake Hotel. She says it word for word for Bob in a letter saying basically, I'm going there. Bye bye. It didn't work for us so long. I didn't know when it was. I was wondering if it was before the murder. And Anneke also told me uh, they think it's during Harvey's box. So it was in that uh, comment here. Oops. I'm pretty sure that Harvey's box takes place when Laura takes Harvey's with her when she goes to the lake. Which implies that the corrupted soul, who may or may not be at Lauha, as well as Laura's killer, wanted to kill Harvey. So this I oh, would fit. This would fit um, because Harvey's box is here in 1969. And season starts here in spring 19. 1964 and then the lady is killed in 1971 so it could be it could be that Harvey's box is actually her moving to Rusty Lake and basically everything that is in that box is what Harvey's need and she's just taking everything with her to Rusty Lake that would work I'm fine with this theory um, then we learn more about Mr. Crow I'm wondering if Mr. Crow is the old man in uh, Cube Escape Theatre. He looked close to that old man. Maybe a younger form of the old man, let's say. Um, not totally sure, and I'm wondering if it's the human form of Mr. Crow in the real world. 
Though the theater is a theater of the mind, so I'm not sure if that would work. And then we have Mr. Howell, as I said, I'm the, he's an actor in uh, Cube Escape Theater. Um, old man seems to be the real Mr. Krause, so possible. Yeah, I mean, theory, right? Uh, are those the human form of these two people? I, I'm not sure. Um, then Dale. Here it is. So, oops, duplicate. So, is this basically, is he able to take memory without using the technology of the, of the meal? That's why I said. Can he walk in other people's memories freely and alter them? Because he basically just goes in there and takes them away with him. But then was it a, th a theater of the mind? So he was able to do that only in a memory? Is he able to do it in the real world? We do not know, but then if the lake is just memories, then he's got like superpower in the lake and maybe not in the real world. So this is possible as well. And then I had another message from uh, Annika, which was super interesting. And I love this kind of little, uh, little information is that Vandermeer is archaic Dutch for from and of the lake. It's a toponymic last name like hill or rivers in English. So Dale's last name tells us is from the lake. His first name sounds like Dutch word deal, which means part. So both combined making sound that his name is part of the lake in Dutch. Which I think is amazing. This is such good information. I love this. So basically his old name is like his part of the lake. So yeah. We know he was young once, because he was a kid. But then maybe he's supposed to be... to go back to the lake. Or maybe he has the powers of the lake, actually, because he can make people corrupted. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and then, obviously, we have the big character of the Mr. Rabbit, the White Rabbit, who killed Dale's family. My theory is that he's uh, maybe Dale, one of the version of Dale. Um, and Annika also told me, which was, I forgot, I completely forgot about this, but it is so true that there were other white rabbits. So there was a rabbit in hotel in Mr. Rabbit room. You can sometimes see the corrupted white rabbit outside his window. And the corrupted soul in the glass containers at the end also wears the white rabbit mask face. I'm sure if it's the same rabbit as the one you killed from it or not. And this is so true. I completely forgot about that white rabbit. And it's also a rabbit we see in the forest. He wears the cloak. Is it the same white rabbit? We don't know. And he's actually the only fuzzy. <laughs> call them fuzzy but the only shadow corrupted with the face all the other one in the hotel at least the boar the pigeon uh the pheasant i think uh, they're all completely black with white eyes the rabbit is the only one which is white fur and black eyes and he's moving around in the forest so this one is yeah he, he, he's different he's different than the other one So we have to look out for this white rabbit here. Uh, Bob. Bob is the blonde lady boyfriend lover. Uh, he's drunk in the um, theater. He drinks a Bloody Mary, which is the same as Mr. Deer. I'm trying to connect them, so... I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm looking too much into this. Um, he killed himself. And then Dale took his memory and he became corrupted. He keeps saying, I don't remember what happened. I think, I think it's the blonde lady killer, honestly. I, I put potentially, but I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, because then he has this memory of her screaming and it's the same scream we, we heard Harvey. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him who killed her. Uh, crime of passion, maybe? I don't know. And then we have the lady in blue. And that one, that one was really mysterious so she was a singer uh, she died and she became corrupted so this is something we've seen several times right someone dies they become corrupted 
or they die and they become something else. And then she had that balance with a shell heart, a uh, fetus and a blue hat. And she said, okay, please balance the substance of my past life. And when that balance was found, so maybe when she was at peace, there was a white light. And we don't know what happened after because then the curtain closed. And I'm wondering if she was the first one to be calling that white light or not. It's the second time we hear about her. Uh, the first time was in hotel uh, when she was depicted by the uh, Mrs. Pigeon, I think. Is this Mrs. Pigeon? No, it was Mrs. Mrs. Pheasants. And it was from Memory of the Lake, a dramatic story about past and future, the lady in blue, Mr. Crown, Mr. Owl. Yep. So she is interesting. She is interesting. We know that, you know, the shell is still there. Uh, it's one of the several symbols that keeps coming back. So we will have to see if we learn more about that lady in blue. And then, then what was the most interesting to me, so obviously there is still this concept of time. I wrote it down here, we already said it several times, is it the past changing or just the memories? What was so interesting for me was this, and that, and that, that created so many, so many new thoughts. So I created an entire paragraph on the corruption. So basically people die. I'm not sure if it's only when they're murdered or not, uh, because it seems that all these deaths are really violent death, murder or maybe suicide, or any kind of violence happening. Um, because Harvey was killed, uh, obviously all the customers were killed in the, um, in the hotel, uh, the blonde lady was killed, uh, Bob um, uh, killed himself, uh, the old lady in the mill was killed as well. So it's on, always violence. Then memories are extracted. Then they become corrupted. And then if you balance the substance of their past life, the white light appear and they disappear or they change into animal form. And why do I say that? Because there was... A sentence said that extracting memory caused the corrupted soul, one of the six stages to the will. This is what Mr. Owl said at the end. Or Dale? Was it the Dale mask? I can't remember now, I need to check. Um, and we have here, we have the will, right? And the will looks like the mill. So the will was also super interesting. Because we saw the stages here, we have uh, here or Mr. Crow or the hybrid form. Then we have the corrupted, then the forest, then the full animal, then back to human. And then there is a question mark. So I'm wondering if this is just they're going around and around and around, right? So they are like half animal. Like the, the, the customers in the hotel, then they get killed, then they become corrupted, then they wander through the forest, we saw them, then the white lights come, and they are changed into full animal, like Harvey for instance, and then they become humans again, and then there is that question mark. And I'm wondering which one is Dale? And I said here, maybe it's unknown to Mr. L because Dale is supposed to become something that is not known yet. He has potential, but we don't know what is his potential. And I'm wondering that at the moment, do they have a problem because the wheel is broken? Because of that question mark, no one knows what this is. And this is causing some issues. And the wheel, the meal is just that basically wheel turning around and around and around but it doesn't work properly uh, I've put here the correct stages create white light this is also a theory maybe when you enter one stage to the other you go through the white light maybe maybe not 
and I was wondering if the past life is a non-corrupted state. Because the lady in blue was probably here. Well, I don't know, she was an actress, right? So yeah, this is this is the big big theory. I think they're all following this wheel. And it works for the customer of the um of the hotel it doesn't work that well for harvey and maybe harvey broke the wheel because he went from that could be interesting harvey went from being an hybrid to directly to being a full animal right so maybe harvey broke the wheel i'm, I'm sure harvey <laughs> harvey is the key to everything so maybe harvey caused the problem and now they have they need Dale to fix it. But I think they started creating issues much earlier. Actually, they started having issues in hotel, right? When the um, corrupted soul escaped. And then Harvey was transformed. So maybe Harvey created uh, all these problems. I don't know. This is where I'm at. Um, so yeah, now we can get started with Rusty Lake Roots. Okay, so here we are in Rusty Lake Roots. Uh, I was told this game was long, so I have plenty of time to record, and this may be two episodes, we will see. Uh, and what I wanted to do was to compare this scene to uh, the little uh, map we had here from Case 23. Um, so what I have here, I have the chapel, I have... Now oh, let me show you. Maybe we can do this. Sorry, I had to cut the music. Um, so if we look at it, all right, we have the chapel here. She's there. We have the bridge down here. So we are basically looking at it from there, right? Uh, we don't see the mill because the mill is probably to the left. The hotel is not on here and we don't see the cabin or maybe this is the cabin uh, there is this house here which is not on the um on the drawing and also we don't see the cave okay interesting interesting let me put this here so i do have my timeline next to me let's get started rusty lake spring 1860. James Van de Boom arrived at Rusty Lake. His uncle had just passed away under mysterious circumstances. James was his uncle's only heir. He had no idea of the events that would change his life. Van de Boer? Is that what they say? 1860 is the earliest date ever. At the moment, the earliest date we have was Cubescape R. And that was in 1888. Look at you. Drag to move left or right. Okay, so that's a new way of doing things. Click on black arrow to move back. Choose item. Okay, so I have brand new... Okay, I don't know why I can't put it in full screen. Okay, so we cannot go full screen on this one. Apparently. Uh, so we will have to do without. So I assume I need a bucket. Okay. Oh, drag the numbers. Yeah. This is a mobile game. Okay, so we need a number. I have to remember that I have that code A1B7C1. So you are James, right? What's your name? What's written in there? Dear James, I regret to inform you that your uncle has passed away. Oh, look at that. There is a rusty lake. Is that a crow? Oh, go away. That's a crow. That's a tree. Interesting. He has left you his house and a very special seed. Plant it and start your own family? Five seven two. OK, 
Okay, you're thinking about the seed? Okay, let's try this. That would be weird. He wrote the code. <laughs> it's, um own luggage on the phone, but why not? Okay. You're not really... Oh, that was sent to him. It's a bone. What is that? It's a seed. Can I look at this? No. It's a crow and a tree. It's so weird. Okay. You have a doggy! Oh, so cute. You want the bone? Oh, am I going to have to plant the seed here? Okay. The Van der Boom family tree. Van der Boom, Van der Meer. Okay. All right. So this is, I'm going to get some water there. All right. So far, so good. The lake is there. The, the hotel. So the hotel already exists. That is so interesting. So interesting. What's happening with you? Click on the tree to make it grow. One of 33? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We are going to go through the entire family history? Okay, so this is spring seasons. There's still seasons. In 1960. So James just arrived in the house. What are you doing, James? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, some of you, you can drag, yes. I have a twig from the tree. So interesting. We've never seen that tree imagery before. Come on, James. You can... You can... There we go. Uh, can do it with the twig. Okay. Hmm... Harvey had an egg like that, and I think that gave us a cube, if I remember well. Black egg like this. It's a baby crow. But we need food, right? Here you go. Diamond. So interesting. We are finding so many... Diamond is also one of the uh, different uh, image we found. Oh my god. There is a green and a blue diamond. That was where? That was in the cabin, right? It was in the cabin. The green gem killed the entity. And the blue gem didn't help. Interesting. Okay. Uh, do we have to plant them? No. What do we do with the diamond? James, come on. Do something. Okay. Nothing. Um, oh. All right. Oh, van der boom. There is an egg. Okay. Uh, there is an egg and and a potion. Hmm. Oh, there's one here.
you are here. Look at the um, clock behind him. That's the clock of the uh, that was in the um, in Dale's house, I think, in birthday. And I think it's also the clock that was in the in the blonde lady Laura's home, right? It's so weird. So was this the shadow of Mr. Crow? Who are we right now? Are we James? Not sure. This is a cube. So he managed to enter it in the house. Huh. Summer. <laughs> it took him the entire season to get in it. What is that? Is that the tree? Yeah, okay. Um wow. All right. The lake is still there. The hotel is still there. Uh, all right. Oh, look at him. Come on, stop it. That is so Mr. Crow. Right? That is the guy in the theater. And the old man, I think. That is so him. Uh, that guy is new. Looks like the elf. Actually, it really looks like the elf. Okay, we have a key. Oh, wow, that is interesting. Okay, so we have a heart. We have some gibberish there. And then obviously those are roots from the tree. And we have a foot. I assume that's a lock of air. Two eyes. Blood, probably. Teeth the brain and uh, I don't know what that is the liver <laughs> I don't know. a tongue and then um all right T so weird oh look at that bloody handprints what is happening here so strange can i move yes what is that can i drag this no i have to remember i can drag stuff she's going to be confusing because we never used to do that okay so we see you i can move can't drag you i know oh you're there okay, you scared me all right let's have a look at everything are you the key from that? Yes. Great. <laughs> Going to use that right on you. No. Um, he needs to light a fire, maybe? Yes. Okay. I like this. It's all in system. Uh, so I don't have a key for that. Is there anything else? No, just water. Okay. So let's light that fire. And then he's probably going to tell me something else. There we go. Another key. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. I would be really scared to sleep here. Oh, so sweet. We have to we have to enjoy the sweetness as it as it lasting. It's going to last long in these games. Perfect. Oh, the moon! Okay. This game, the music is so low. Okay. Oh, this is... Okay, this is a puzzle. So... Corner, right, middle, left. Okay, let's see if I can remember that. Duck, 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 duck. All right. So A25, always, you're always like this? Okay. What was on the, um, oh, I can't, I can't close it anymore. Shoot. 
I wanted to see if it, which symbol it was. Was it this one? I went too fast. Hmm. Oh, I drag it. 8.25 It's like the sun is rising, right? It did the same earlier. That's the uncle, right? Oh no. Okay. This is so gross. <laughs> All right. Nipple gate. That's the achievement. Okay. This looks like a tree. All right, we have the heart. We have to take the teeth. Wait a minute. Sorry, uncle. No, done. Okay. I thought that maybe we need to get the teeth. Um, this is just to show that. All right. What do I do now? Uh, oh, okay. Did you see here? Put it in water. So the uncle was killed and put in the uh... clock. It's so weird. Who killed him? It is a murder mystery now, which I like. Oh, I'm sure these colors are relevant. I'm sure these colors are important. Ooh, what is that? Collect 10 sacrifices. Oh. Mm hmm. The Van der Bloom family was Van der Bloom? All right. Was sacrificing people. Okay. Interesting. Finding love. So that's 1865. What is this one? It's after. Oh, look, he has a moustache. Okay, let's try to stay chronological because this is already complicated. So we are going to get really close to the first um, date, which is 1888 from Arles, uh, where we have Van Gogh. And Van Gogh went to the hotel. He went there. We know it because he had a picture of the hotel. So it's James and Mary, so he found love. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. So what's written on here? Nothing. Great. You want to write a sweetheart name? What is that? A hanky? What are you thinking about? Giving her a, a note? Okay, what are you thinking about? Does he love me? Yes, he does. Um. Should I help? Pretty sure I should help. Look at you. Are you the baby crow? Okay, so I have to make you move. Okay. Um. Oh, I need to give him something so he can write a note. Is that right? Okay. Uh, I assume, as usual in these games... Oh, do I give a rose to the bird? Or do I need to give her a rose and she's going to prick her finger and then she's going to bleed and he's going to write with the blood? <laughs> yeah. Usually that game is all bloody. No? There we go. <laughs> Always like that. You want the blood? <laughs> Can you write with the blood? No, do we give the blood to the bird? 
but it makes no sense. Um, I thought that maybe you could use the blood to write something. No. Can we go to the right more? No. What did I miss? Oh! Oh, here we go. I love you! Yeah, in your own blood. That is so romantic. Okay. A love note. Giving you the love mm. note. Oh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, and she needs a ring. So... Keep the worm. Go away. Again, something appeared. So each time we move, there is... I can't see what it is. It looks like a tapestry. Oh, this is gross. Whose hand is that? It's so gross. Um, no sacrifices this time? There you go. So happy. Yeah. Okay, she's she's happy with that. I'm happy you're happy, Mary. All right. Um so that's why it's 1865, 19 the staircase with James, staring James. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's going to be so complex. And look, the, these. We had that in seasons. Was it in seasons or was it in case 23? We had to rearrange books now. I think it was in <laughs> case 23 at the fake house of the blonde lady. Do I have to put you in the correct order? What order is that? Order you've been killed? That would be mean. That would be super mean. I don't think that is right because then people did not necessarily play all the games. Let's try it, but... Uh, uh, Miss Pigeon is number... Mr. Deer is number three. And Mr. Boar is number five. No, Mr. Crow's first. Just trying, but yeah. Okay, so this is not the correct order. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's it. The hotel is right there. The hotel is right there. Okay. Um, the music is great. I like it. What are you reading? Look at that. That looks like the wheel to me. Spring 1859. So this is one year before we arrived. My brother and I are in the final stage of finding the elixir. The alchemist. So they were doing dodgy stuff. He's <laughs> like me. He's like, what? a cave but this yeah this is the will this is 100 percent the will um okay i see all these puzzles here but let's see this is the same as this one here yes right mm, no not really okay so let's see 
Um, what do we do here? What do we have to connect with what? What is the start? What is the finish? This could work. This could work. Okay. No. This. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, let's move you there and move you there. Okay. Uh, so it does it automatically. I don't want to move them around weirdly because there must be some... clue somewhere. Um, let's see... Should be like this. I think we saw last time they should be connected through colors and shape. Mm. It would be right. No, it would be right. <laughs> okay, so that doesn't work. You are a strange one. Okay, brown only connects to orange. So, like that. There we go. So these are also something we should look out. Uh, square, round, S, and cross. Okay, I see. Should we try all three? I'm not sure about that one. This is the order they were killed. These are all the people in Rusty Lake Hotel, actually. Mr. Deer first, I'm checking. Rabbit. Mr. Boring 5, Mrs. Pheasant in 4, and Mrs. Pigeon in 3. Yeah, that is correct. And the crow, well, uh, first or last. Okay. Uh, let's take screenshots of this. And try them. So... Uh, I assume the little arrow is there. Okay, so I need to move that okay, to make my life easier. Uh, I want you to rotate. Can I not rotate you? Undo. No. I need to edit in paint. Easy. Uh, rotate. All right, <laughs> using my brain, but not that much. Oh, look at that. Okay, so there's the symbols here. Oh, we don't have a dot. Ah, uh, I have to use them all. I have to use them all. Okay, so all of them create one picture, basically. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all next to each other. I'm going to show you how I solve the puzzle. Making some room for the screenshots. Okay, so we have this one. We had the one in the book. Which is there. Let me take another screenshot of that. This one is in the right position with the arrow on the right. And we'll paste it here. And then we had the last one. <laughs> I love his face. Uh, we have the last one here. And that one is rotated. So, paste that here and rotate. 
Okay, so what I have right now is basically this. And what's happening is I have to fill all of this. So the first symbol is going to be this one. The second one is going to be that one. The third one is going to be that one, etc., etc. And I'm aligning them with the uh, little, um, little arrow on the right. So going back to this. Uh, so the first symbol, and you'll have to believe me, is this one. The second one is that one. The third one is this one. And then... I'm not, I'm, yeah, I know I'm not using my memory for this, but uh, I have a really bad memory. Okay. Here it is. Oh, we are going to look at the hotel. Let's see. Wow, look at this. Hmm. Rabbit, pigeon, boar, crow. Can we get something else? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, rabbit, pigeon, boar, crow, and then deer and pheasants, right? Rabbit, pigeon, boar, crow. Okay. So, rabbit, pigeon, Boar, crow, pheasants. There we go. So actually... Wait a minute. This doesn't work though. Because Rusty Lake Hotel is in 1893. Or... That means they were going to the hotel several times. All the time is warped, as we said previously. Um, or does that mean that at the beginning it was just like a, a real hotel and then it started going crazy? It's interesting. Okay. Are you saying anything else if I found it? No. Okay. So there is an entrance in your house. Uh, look at that. Ha! It's always the sun, all right. Oh, this is this is great. I like that. I want to carry on in that direction. 1870, the elixir. So weird because we are still at least 18 years before the first game. No, oh, you, you, you're too cute. Okay. This elixir will bring you eternal life or sudden death. The alchemist. Where did we see this before? Can't remember now. We saw that before. I remember. Yes, this was one of the symbols in Rusty Lake Hotel, I think, which we had to associate with numbers, if I remember well. Or at least this type of symbols. Uh... We'll find you a bone to eat. Look at that. Bandaboo. The crow and the leaf. The egg, the spotty egg. And the portion. Okay. Look at you! So posh. Alright, so you want the elixir. Uh, right. Okay. I need to write this down, maybe. Oops. It's been a while since I wrote the stuff down. Um, all right. So we are trying to find the weight of all of this. So let's see. We have a O, a plus, a squiggly, a dot, and an X. The plus is one, the dot is two. And we have to add three plus four plus four plus five. Okay. So none of the one we have here, basically. 
Okay, I, li I like this one. This one should be okay. So plus... So that's one. Uh, so squiggly is three. Uh, what is O? O is five. And X... X is four. Four should be squiggly plus... Plus, yes. So that means we need uh, squiggly x x and o so one uh, what did i say x two x twice and o is james going to drink that he's oh no he's going to try it on the dog Oh, oh, poor baby. Oh, I'm going to kill the dog. This game is awful. Oh, I hope you get to turn on live, baby. You're fine? You're going to be an eternal dog? Okay. Oh, you're going to try it. I hope you die. Yes! <laughs> well, that will teach you to try stuff on animals. Were well, you still there? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Good boy. Okay, can I can I take any organ? <laughs> Cause I need I need as a sacrifice. No? Okay. So this is the sky behind him. Alright. So Jane died. Should we carry on this path? The wake. Oops. Oops. Oh, wow. There you go. What's the tongue? Ten sacrifices, ten family members, one rebirth. So weird. This family is weird. Okay, and there is an X. Oh no. Okay. Hi, James. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. Uh, can we do that? Yes. Go there, you go there. Oh, okay, because I need to get rid of all the... Uh... Okay. Alright, um... I see. To do it in several... Uh, yep. There we go. Amazing! I got the eye. <laughs> Not gross at all. Sorry, James. Um... Okay, can I move? Yes. That's the house? Or oh, they left him completely abandoned? So, they needed the... Oh, I see. There's something behind, though. That's the coin. We're finding all of those. Um, those are all the symbols we found in the cabin, I think. And that's the cube. Okay. 
So the this is slightly Oh. That was a deer. A deer and a crow. Oh, I have to make it. That's the uncle. So the uncle. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? What does it look like? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see. No, that's the top. That could work, right? Yes. This is fun. I like that. Uh, no. You? Here? Yes. The music is weak. No, you're missing a piece there. This is the top as well. This, maybe? Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the head. That is the uh, the uncle. I don't know what that is. The top as well. I'm missing something. Or is that going there? No, because I'm missing a bit here. like an idiot because those are moving on their own so okay let me go back oh no this is this is the puzzle okay i have to so this is the neck this is the other side this is the head this i don't know what it is it, do it doesn't fit anywhere here. This is the head. This is the bottom. Can I move that? I'll move that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, it's sitting on a um, pedestal. All right, all right. I thought this was at the top, the very top. Okay. Makes more sense like this. Uh, you go there? Yes. You go there. You go there. Yes, okay, that makes more sense. And I suppose I do coins. No. Eyeball? This is so scary. Okay, I need a second eyeball. And the second eyeball this is so weird so creepy can i put a coin in here no oh wait a minute the coins are for you mm, yeah okay so this is symbolism right Put coins on the eye of the deceased so they can cross on the other side. Uh, I think this is Greek. I think the Romans did the same as well. And I, oh no, I have to cut his tongue? This is gross. This game is gross. Ugh. So I assume him dying by poison is a sacrifice? One rebirth. So strange. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So that brunch is over. 
Okay, so we have to move to the other one now. 